it's a delight to be here, one of the particular pleasures. As this somebody who's married to a Welshman, who's got two small boys that are passionately Welsh, I quite liked having the bragging rights that it's myself that have been invited here to talk to you guys tonight. <laughs> the 105 year history was not lost on my husband when I showed him the centenary brochure and walked through the fact that I'll be in Cardiff tonight representing Family Garfield. So thank you very much for inviting me and it's definitely caused some good banter at home. Now Wales is also hugely important to 27 Trent and it's for that reason that I accepted the opportunity to come and talk to you tonight. There might be some of you that are actually Seven Trent customers if you're very lucky to have the cheapest bills in the land and to live in our Paris patch. There might be others that aren't, and I'm sure your water is just as nice, although it's obviously slightly pricier. So, um, so for those that don't know much about us, let me give you some key stats, and then I'm going to run you through a few thoughts, and I am open for Q&A, but um, let's see how that goes, I guess. We might have a no questions, and I'll be embarrassed on stage. So we're a FTSE listed water company. There are three FTSE listed, two FTSE 100 listed water companies in the UK. We employ 5,000 people in the UK and we have another couple of thousand in the States. Um, in Wales, we currently serve customers in uh, Montgomery. We also have um, significant assets through Mid Wales as they connect water into Birmingham, which I know you'll all know about. And we also have our labs that covers the whole of the Seven Trent region. It's based in Bridgend. And I had a very enjoyable day hanging out with my teams in Bridgend during the course of the day, who are some of our cheeriest staff in the company. And we're in the process, as I'm sure you would have read about, of trying to seek to grow further in Wales with the uh, desire to tie up with Dee Valley as well. So that would be an excellent expansion if that comes through. And, uh, and that's one of the things that we're working on right now. In terms of investment, we're spending £75 million in Wales between 2015 and 2020, which is a huge amount of money we think about it. And we actually try to spend £1,400 per household. That's the average amount of investment spend for us each five years. We're an incredible investor. Whenever we're spending that money, we try to make sure that we do it in as clearly as, as well-managed a situation for our customers in terms of costs. But also, we try to work with local firms. We try to make sure that when we can tie up and bring people from the local area to join and share in that success, we do actively try to do that wherever it's possible. And we like to think that as a company, we're known for three things. So we're certainly known for value for money. We do have the cheapest combined bills, uh, as I mentioned already. And actually that comes across when you look at value for money statistics, because of the fact that we're £100 cheaper than the average, that regularly comes up, that people can see that, it's openly shared. Uh, we're considered to be the environmental leaders in our sector. So, um, and that's not just that I say we are, um, we are defined as being so by the Environment Agency. Every, um, every year, they effectively have a series of characteristics and they judge you, and we've been judged to be the creme de la creme for two of the last three years, which we're immensely proud of. And the third thing is that we are known as for spending a lot of money on infrastructure. And I mean that wisely in terms of how we spend it, but we are a company that actively looks to invest for the future on the basis that generations now should fund the future because we've gained from generations of the past funding our future. And that one of the things that we're doing right now that's passionate to us is investing in the resilience of the Birmingham Aqueduct, which takes water from the Ellen Reservoir right through into Birmingham. And we're delighted that that served us for over 100 years, and we're investing in it now to make sure it stands in good stead for the next 100 years as well. So then things that we're known for, We'd love to be known for one thing more though, the thing that we'd most love to be known for by 2020, and that's our vision, it's our passion, is to be the most trusted company in our sector. That's what we believe really counts. We think you can get admired by consumers, they can be happy with paying their bills, and that's all good for us now. We have the lowest bad debt charge in the UK, we already have a decent relationship, but we're not yet, no utility and certainly no water utility has yet really transcended into being truly trusted. And that's passionately our desire. And whenever we make any decision or organisation internally, whenever we think about anything, it's that that we ask people to do, is to consider if you made that decision this way or that way, which way would the customer trust you most if they were sat on your shoulder watching you make that decision? And that's our passion. That's what we'd love to know for. So I make no shameless apology for the fact that whilst I'm here tonight to share a few words, I'm absolutely looking to try and pick your brains during the course of the next little while. So I believe one of my key passions in life is that no one person has the answers. And I use events like this to try and find fantastic ideas that I shamelessly plagiarise back into my organisation and look as though I'm clearly wildly intelligent on the basis of all of your great thoughts. So I'm looking for a few great ideas this evening and I'll share with you the topics that I'd love those thoughts to come through on.